Hi, I'm Mike Owen of the Ingroom in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for March 24th, 2023. Pretty small new arrival week, although there's some big, like physically and metaphorically speaking, releases this week that I will show you guys. And I'm also going to show you guys what I'm putting on Whatnot. I'm doing an auction again this week on Whatnot this Sunday with me and Angel. I've got a small sampling of stuff to show you. Normally I would show you the gold member stuff again for this week as well. I'm getting over a cold, so I've been off of work the last couple of days. So I actually just showed up after the store closed uh, to film this video. So I really don't know what's going on at the store other than this stuff here was waiting for me to show you guys. So it'll be a little bit more interesting of a video than normal. Maybe you won't even notice, but I have no idea what's actually in this, this cubby. Like I could tell there's like a one step and you know, I know what this is, but like other than that, I haven't even perused this particular uh, new arrival video because I have, haven't been here. Okay, a few pre-orders to tell you about. Uh, EMC is reintroducing, they're doing an audio, they call it like an audio file series. Essentially, I think they're all analog reissues of some EMC titles from the catalog. Uh, I didn't read up too much on this. Like I said, I haven't been here. Uh, Kenny Wheeler, new high. And Nana Vesgelos, Sodutis. Those are both coming out April 28th. EMC stuff was extremely good the first time around. I'll be quite curious to see how these reissues sound. Nobody ever put on an EMC record and said, you know, I'm not, just, I'm not sure about this. I don't know about the quality of this record. It might need a little work. I mean, this stuff was notoriously really well recorded uh, and pressed. Actually, EMC, a lot of EMC stuff, uh, you know, a lot of it was just so well recorded and so well pressed. So we'll see. I don't know. This is the one that I was the most excited for. Also because it kind of coincided with like a little blurb. The releasing Talking Heads stopped making sense, the full concert on 2LP vinyl. And as part of the blurb, uh, there was like a little video with David Byrne essentially going to the dry cleaners, picking up his big suit to kind of make the announcement in the video. It's going to theaters as well, but they're releasing it as a full concert. It is hands down one of the greatest live concerts of all time. It's absolutely fantastic. The ba one of my favorite bands of all time, but also the, you know, the, that particular concert, Bernie Worrell, uh, there's like a brief interlude of Tom Tom Club stuff. Really, really good, but yeah. Can't recommend that enough, but if you're a Talking Heads fan, you're probably going to want that anyways. Stone Temple Pilots are doing a maybe an anniversary edition of Purple on clear vinyl. So you can get your STP Purple Clear on May 26th. Matchbox 20, new album. Where the Light Goes, that's coming out May 26th as well. Okay, so let me show you guys the new arrivals, and then I'll show you some of the stuff that's going to go on the auction. I'll start off with the small stuff, and that is... The Eagles, The Long Run, and Hotel California on SACD. So a good sign we're going to see the one steps fairly soon. And of course, Hotel California, the one step is the one I think everybody's waiting for the most. So yeah, both of the SACDs anyways are in stock. Okay, so this is an absolutely massive box set. It's so massive, when I walked in today, five minutes ago, I thought to myself, what the hell are we going to ship this thing in? So this is going to end up getting one of my big box, giant bubble wrap treatment deals, because I have no idea what this is going to ship in. But, oh my god. Here it is. This is the uh, Pink Floyd's 50th anniversary of Dark Side of the Moon. It comes with a bunch of stuff, and it gives you a layout of what, oh my lord. It gives you a layout of kind of how it's all packed in the box as well. But we've got the CD and LP of the remastered original album, the CD plus LP of The Dark Side of the Moon live at Wembley, uh, Blu-ray of the album in 5.1, and a high-resolution stereo mix, Blu-ray Atmos and high-resolution mix, DVD of the 5.1 remastered stereo mixes, 100-page, 100 160-page hardback photo book, music book of the original album. I believe that's like, uh, you know, the actual musical the actual musical like tabs or something of that nature from what I saw in the uh, description. Two replicas, two by so two seven inches, 
and memorabilia. Don't know what that is. I'll probably do an unboxing of this as well, but this thing is massive. You know, I, I wish it had more stuff that I personally would be into. I don't really care for all the digital stuff. So for me, eh, you know, I would love to get that entire Wembley concert. Uh, it's got a killer version of, I think they did Echoes and Raving and Drooling, which morphed into Sheep as part of that Wembley show. But that wasn't included. I'll skip to this, which is also, to coincide with this, you can get just the Wembley concert itself, which is cool. I mean, not a lot of concerts from this era from Pink Floyd. Uh, it wasn't, unfortunately, it wasn't a really well-recorded band. Unlike some bands, they just were very well recorded. Pink Floyd is not one of them. But Live in Wembley, 1974. This is a two LP set. Oh, this is a one LP set of Dark Side of the Moon. One LP set. So, I mean, if you're a Pink Floyd fan, you're at the absolute very least going to buy this, right? I myself am going to get the box set, regardless of what they put in that box set. It's like one of my favorite albums of all time by one of my favorite bands of all time. I'm sure a lot of you guys are like this. You were just going to buy it anyways. And I think, unfortunately, they kind of knew that. But I got to say, I'm a little more impressed seeing it in person and lifting it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there of a lot of weight because it's not the lightest box. From my top 100 in print analog records you should own, the Kirsten Etkins Shapes and Sound. This is on Kevin Gray's label, Coherent Records. Uh, I did an unboxing slash review of this. I put it on my top 100 in print analog records you should own list because this is one of the absolute best sounding recordings I have ever heard in my entire life. It's done on uh, Kevin Gray's all tube chain, tube recording studio. Uh, you think of how good Kevin Gray's remasters are, and then you think to yourself, well, look, if he had full control of the whole entire recording process, what would it sound like? This is what it would sound like. It's an unbelievably fantastic sounding record. I know I'm going to be going Exponent here coming up next month. I just have a feeling this is going to be played in many of the rooms because it is so exquisite sounding. I also happen to like the music. I think the music is fun and exciting, very tuneful. I highly recommend this. Again, it's on my top 100 in-print analog records you should own list. This is the second batch of the first pressing. You know, he did it kind of not knowing how well it was going to go. So he did some of them, printed them up, sold out ex extremely well. There was copies selling on this thing, of this thing on Discogs for 200 bucks for people that I'm assuming just didn't want to wait. But got a good amount in, and I've had it for pre-order for a couple of days knowing it was coming. We'll get those shipped out. But we have it in stock. Woo! Elvis Live in 72. I'm excited about this. This is unfortunately just a small sampling of the box set, which was four concerts and rehearsals. The rehearsals are coming for Record Store Day, but this is uh, the vinyl release, which is kind of like a best of of the four shows. I think it was four shows total. You know, when I streamed it, they kind of all blended together. It was four or five shows. Okay, look at that. Elvis live in 72, Ooh, red, red jumpsuit on the back, blue jumpsuit on the front. Elvis, the greatest of all time. Here it is on vinyl, two LP set. Uh, nothing else needs to be said. He's the king. I love Elvis. My favorite. And I'll be taking that home. The new album from Depeche Mode. Still a little disappointed. There's no Phoenix show. Saw them the last time they were here. But here we go. Memento. Memento Memore. Or Memento More. There we go. We'll go with that. Sounds like uh, that's it. Two LP set, side one, two, and three. So it's probably two LPs and then maybe maybe some uh, some sort of etching on uh, side four. I heard a track off of this. I wasn't blown away, you know, and I love the Depeche Mode, but yeah. Oh, man. I'm having flashbacks to the 90s. It's like, no. <laughs> Not again, but here it is, the 25th anniversary of uh, the self-titled NSYNC, featuring the hits, I Want You Back, Tearing Up My Heart, God Must Have Spent a Little More Time on You, oh boy, there it is, I'm sure that'll sell well, finally got and have started shipping, this came like the day after I filmed the last video, but Paul Simon, there goes the Ryman Paul Simon. Mobile Fidelity One Step. 
haven't had a chance to listen to it. I'm hoping to do it actually this coming up week. But yeah, like I said, I've been out of it. A little cold. Uh, can't really, you know, I can hear, but yeah, my head's a little congested. So it's not like I want to be doing any serious listening. All right, Rage, Wage War, The Strip Sessions. Limited edition photo inserts, and I can feel them because they're right here. Okay. Oh, man, this isn't, actually, there's some cool stuff this week. Look at this. Hockey Chateau, 50th anniversary, 2LP set on 180 gram black vinyl, newly compiled LP of session demos, plus an eight-page book. Not really the standard gay fold, but it's about LP2. And that's kind of what will end up selling it for me on this. The Police Greatest Hits. Love having Greatest Hits. They don't really sell particularly well online, but Greatest Hits sell a big time for the locals, people getting into vinyl. You don't have a lot of records, you tend to buy Greatest Hits records. You get deep into the weeds, then you just buy any, er, you know, everything. The original music score to Mank. This is a uh, Reznor and Ross production. Yeah, the Trent Reznor stuff, and Atticus Ross stuff, always sells extremely well. This looks actually really well done. It's got like this linen binding. It's kind of got an old school box set feel to it, and they've actually weathered it to make it look older, you know, than it obviously is, which is like two days old. Three LPs pressed on 180 gram of vinyl. Feature, what? <laughs> Featuring 90 minutes of new compositions in the style of orchestral big band and foxtrot music of the 40s. Uh, boy, I'm not seeing this. I'm curious of what Trent Reznor's take on Foxtrot and Big Man Music of the 40s sounds like. The Scarlet Goodbye. Hope's Eternal. UFO. Werewolves of London. Double Purple LP. Fake Names. Fake names the ex are just expandables. It's the name of the record. Fake names, expandables on epitaph. We've got Grant Lee Buffalo Fuzzy 2003 remastered on clear of vinyl. Fuzzy, fuzzy. Debbie Friday, good luck. This is on Sub Pop. This is the Loser Edition, which is their first pressing. Limited edition on colored vinyl. Sub Pop does that with everything. Uh, loser Edition is always the first pressing. Kraut, an adjustment to society. This is on black and white splatter vinyl. We've got Ghosts, Ghost Bath. Ghost Bath's Moon Lover. I might have to do some editing on this one. Now that I look at the cover. Oh, yeah, yeah. On Nuclear Blast Records. I don't feel like doing any editing. Hopefully not. But if you see little clips missing, that's why. Let's see. We've got RBL Posse. A lesson to be learned. This is limited edition of a thousand on splatter vinyl. We've got Periphery. Cobalt with white splatter. Periphery five. Uh, the gent is not a genre. Oh boy. I have absolutely no clue what this is. It's on three dot recordings. I'm sure somebody will comment and tell me like, Mike, I cannot believe you. How the hell do you not know who Periphery is? It's the greatest band ever. Ghost Bath, soft leather. All right, everyone's got their clothes on. YouTube, YouTube friendly. Violet, black and splatter of vinyl. 
Oh, boy, that's a heavy one. Holy cow. Celtic Frost into the pandemonium. All right. It says it's only two LPs on gold vinyl, 32 page, 10 inch booklet with extended sleeve notes, includes two posters. This is a really heavy two LP set. Thank you for being here. The world is a beautiful place and I'm no longer afraid to die. I have no idea what this is. He's uh, got his mask on, doing a little performance there. Seems like that would be a little difficult, but yeah. Luke Combs, getting old. And we've got some more Ghost Bath. Star Mourner on white, blue, cloudy vinyl. This next one I figured I'd throw in there because this is, I'm assuming, the second pressing of the 2018 remix of Animals. The first pressing of this was enormously plagued with defects to the tune of almost 40%. This is a new pressing because it's been months since the last one came in, and I'm assuming this is problem free. That is just an assumption though, because I have not opened one of these yet. And I guess I will know people start buying these with the ultrasonic cleaning. I start cracking them up, open, and I'll start seeing what's going on. Hopefully, no problems. And last is Uriah Heep's Sweet Freedom picture disc. All right, let me show you guys some of the stuff that is going on whatnot this uh, Sunday, Sunday at noon. It's going to be about 100 items. I only got about 50 of them loaded in. If you've never purchased from us on Whatnot before and you sign up on my link below, you get $15 off of your first order with anybody. So if you buy like a $15 record, it'll cost you no dollars. Uh, or anything else. You can get a lot of stuff on the platform. But I start everything at $10. Uh, and it's just a straight actual auction. You bid, it's like 30 seconds. If you bid within the last 10 seconds, it bumps it back to 10 seconds. So it's a true auction as opposed to eBay, which is more of a uh, timed auction. Uh, it's a true auction. I do it generally at least once a week, but I have a lot of fun. I've been doing a lot of jazz from a consignment auction. This is actually uh, my stuff. This is not consignment stuff. So this is stuff from around the store. A lot of this stuff is stuff I've actually purged out of my collection recently, but this is gonna be mostly rock oriented, some jazz stuff. But again, click the link below if you go into the store. Uh, even if you've already signed on, you can click the link below, go to the store, and you can see all the stuff I have listed thus far. First up is the Zombies Early Days. Really clean copy in the shrink. Ultrasonically cleaned. This has got to be, hands down, the absolute cleanest copy of this I've ever seen. This is Tammy Wynette's Stand By Your Man. Not only does that cover look like it was made yesterday. Let me show you that. The record looks like it was made yesterday. This is just such a pristine copy. Somebody traded me in like four Tammy Wynette records. I put Stand By Your Man and Divorce into this auction. Near mint copy of, this is Finger Paintings by Earl Klug, an original Mobile Fidelity UHQR. This is not the nicest or cleanest copy, but it plays through. This is a Robert Ludwig Led Zeppelin II. This is a double RL from Presswell. Pretty solid cover. Description, condition, all listed on whatnot. Again, starting at 10 bucks. Here is just a really nice clean copy of Guns N' Roses' Appetite for Destruction. This is an original in shrink. Second cover, doesn't, you know, not the band cover, but has the hype sticker, contains language with some, look, the, with, which might be unsuitable for some listeners. Ultrasonically clean. Oh man, this is just, you guys know how much I love William Shatner. This is actually one of my copies. I had about four or five. Uh, I got a nice real clean one in shrink. Took that home and I actually purged this from my collection. But uh, William Shatner himself, Captain Kirk of Star Trek, for those who don't know. The Transform Man. Uh, really good record. I enjoy this, but uh, it's not for everybody. He does a cover of Mr. Tambourine Man and Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Overlay with like Shakespearean... Uh, 
Shakespearean, you know, like a Shakespearean play. It's uh, quite a listen. I, I recommend it. Maybe not the Shakespeare part, but you'll probably at least like his version of Mr. Tambourine Man or, uh, yeah, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Just like a super swell copy of The Sound of Wilson Pickett. Nice Atlantic stereo in the shrink with the original price tag, ultrasonically clean. That came directly from my house. This is not an easy album to find. This is actually quite difficult to find. This is Joe Pass for Django, Pacific Jazz. This actually came out as a Blue Note Tone Poet. This is an original. Just a super clean copy of Crosby, David Crosby's, uh, if I could only remember my name. Look how clean this cover is. I mean, this record looks like it was made yesterday. But uh, yeah, that'll be on there. And then there's some jazz, some good CTI stuff. Ron Carter's All Blues. White Label promo. But this is going to be kind of a little bit of a hodgepodge of stuff. Uh, again, a lot of the stuff I've been doing has been jazz oriented. This has some jazz stuff in it, but mostly rock and roll. And a lot of great titles. A lot of originals, some newer type stuff, audiophile stuff. But yeah, that's it. Check us out on Sunday. Me and Angel will be doing the whatnot. And all this stuff can be purchased on the website at theingroove.com. Until next time.